This video is about a geocoding prototype based on geofencing, which we did based on a recently released feature in Salesforce Summer 16, which is automatic geocoding of addresses, which basically geocodes accounts, contacts, and leads uh, address fields. It's powered by data.com technology, and fortunately, it doesn't need a data.com license. So to start with, uh, we just need to set up the geocode cleaning rules correctly, which will update these uh, latitude and longitude fields uh, on the account contact or leads. Uh, so to avoid getting into these details and uh, I'm jumping directly to my dev org. So here is uh, my dev org with geocoding enabled for account billing address. And you can find uh, all these uh, clean rules here in data.com administration section. And if I go to accounts, these are some pre-existing accounts and Roomta Hospital, Jawar Circle is the key account which I'm going to test with. So if I jump back here uh, on Roomta Hospital, this is the billing address which I have set near Apex Circle. And uh, if you see, that's the clean rule which executed nearly a day ago. Now to quickly see what is actually uh, geofencing because we have geocoding taken care of without writing any piece of code and I hope you all must have remembering the days when you have to write a bad job or something like a trigger which automatically geocodes on any address change so that uh, is uh, fortunately not needed now so if we go to geofencing now what that uh, term is so geofencing is something which is provided by all mobile operating systems like Android and iOS and it basically if you can see this picture this is a fence area a geo fence parameter and what it means is if you are going to enter this uh, California Caltrain station so it will give you alert on entry dwelling and exit so what uh, uh, an alert means is basically it will notify your app uh, on any such activity when a user with mobile will enter this Caltrain zone like a radius of let's say 500 meters or 100 meters when he will exit when he's here so that could be used very creatively for doing a bunch of things so we are going to do something uh, small but fun exercise with the geofencing concept moving next is uh, our uh, Cordova plugin called uh, Ionic Geofence so for this purpose we are using Cordova, Ionic, Angular and uh, Salesforce uh, REST APIs and uh, this plugin uh, is basically providing you interface between the native Java and iOS uh, Objective-C or whatever libraries they use and makes your life easy by opening up a simple JavaScript API to basically create geofence, listen and all do all that kind of stuff without writing any native Java or iOS coding. So coming uh, to the demo here is uh, our demo ground let me unlock the app so if uh, we go here you may be seeing two apps like one of them is fake gps and another one is ionic geofence so ionic geofence is the app which uh, we are going to demo next but before that uh, let me uh, clear the system tray so that there is less confusion here so it's only you see there is USB debugging connected and USB for charging to use uh, uh, I mean geofencing and test basically geofencing uh, you need to basically move like if you want to two no, test two locations ideal way and more accurate way is to move but uh, it's not feasible for a developer to carry laptop and everything and test like that so what I'm doing is you can go to your about phone most of the Android phones if you tap multiple times on bill number it will open the development settings which is like here this one so if you go to developer options there is uh, basically a way to fake the GPS so if you see that there is a mock GPS app which is called fake GPS which is set here like this and what it allows you is to pass any GPS coordinate and your app will not know that it's a fake or real one so it allows you to quickly test different locations apart from that uh, this is something called visor which is developed by Kaushik Datta which is 
a renowned name in Android community and uh, this app allows you to mirror your Android screen pretty easily and you just need to enable Android debugging and all those things to make it work so coming to the core thing uh, let's see uh, what our app is so what you're seeing here is all the accounts which have billing addresses and have geocoding enabled our app has an OAuth flow to authenticate and do all the things it will take more time to demo so I'm avoiding that so what we do is we have developed something similar when we have some changes we hit this link to update the accounts if we are testing heavily we delete geofences add them again so this is something we developed for our testing to uh, give you more idea you can basically uh, see what this Jawar circle is you will see a geofence here based on the I think there is a zoom problem here so that's uh, basically the Zawar circle area somehow the zooming is not working really well here so I will avoid doing that and one thing you can do from app is uh, you can increase the radius of fence how much you want to watch out and how less you want to watch out so if you don't want to be trapped four kilometers away from Jawar circle so you might want to reduce the radius let's say to uh, nearly a kilometer there's an option when I get close into that circle or when I go away that you can set for yourself. So that's all good. Once you hit that, the app will remember this setting. Similarly for Rungta Hospital, it is on a different location. Again, zooming might not work. So that's the location I am in. And again, I have set a nearly one kilometer mark here so that I get an alert whenever I'm getting into the area. Apart from that, uh, all we need to do now is uh, we basically need to use fake GPS now. So if I start this app, it has this funny smiley icon which says uh, you can drag me anywhere you want. So let's go to Rungta Hospital first. So hopefully, let me zoom a bit to make sure I'm in a kilometer range. So I think that is it now if I hit this green icon it will start faking this location so let's see what happens oh there is an alert so see these are the fake GPS uh, alert which is going on that I'm faking the GPS and this is the top alert this one is from the Ionic app which we have developed so it will just say that you are near Rungta hospital you can meet and greet so this is again a test app we can possibly open the room to hospital record and do a bunch of things but that's not the goal we just want to show you the power of fencing and uh, if you are still interested in more uh, demo so let's see what happens when we go to Jawar circle and uh, like here and simulate it so okay so we have another alert set you near Jawar circle you can meet and greet the account so that's a small fun app guys and that's a demo part if uh, you want uh, the code of the same we are basically using an ionic geofence app uh, template which you can find uh, from the repository link which we showed here it is having all the pointers to that we are just adding the salesforce touch to it so basically if you see we are using a angular based uh, force dk wrapper uh, which is known as service call force geofencing api is all available via this geofence service exposed in angular and all you need to do is basically uh, query all the accounts uh, uh, with latitude is not equal to null and uh, we are basically creating an array of all the geofences and then feeding it to the service it will on a start of app add or update the fences as required and that is mostly it. rest of the code is uh, something which we got from the ionic geofence template and some things which we changed to store and pull back from salesforce so to avoid and keep the demo brief that is it guy hope it gives you some idea to do something creative if you have uh, any questions or queries please reach me out thanks for watching